Alrighty then. Let me do a test. Okay. Do I, my, do I do my nails? Oh, my nails are okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I think I want to get another thing of clean water here. So, let me go get some clean water. Some clean water. Let's get a baby wipe. All right. Let's see if anybody's here yet. Hey guys. Hey Barbara. CK. Leah. Good morning, guys. So I thought we would use some of the Jane Davenport paints in these in the uh, Clara Markova's color books. Hi, Marsh. How you doing? Marsh, you missed it on Monday. Well, I don't know if you were around on Monday. <laughs> uh, I got I have to tease Marsh with the with the Barbies. I'll throw down a man card. <laughs> Uh, hi, Nanette. Let's see. BD Baby. Hello, BD Baby. Debbie Bruce. Hi, Pamela. Icy. Dawn. Yes, it is, Marsh. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I did do some. There's some posts. There's a couple posts uh, like Happy New Year. You probably saw the Happy New Year one. Uh, Scrap Girl, Raul, who else am I missing? That's Adam Maseki, Ke Kelly Ann, Aunt Beck. And if y'all, um, Aunt Beck comes on at uh, bus ride, Aunt Beck comes on at noon Eastern. She's gonna, I don't know what I just kind of briefly heard her say something in Mary's that she'll be on at noon. I'm not sure what she's gonna do, but Be Aunt Beck will be on at noon. Let's see. Um, uh, who else am I missing? Uh, Cheshire Cat, Arlene, Monkey Mary, Brenda A. Those kind of stuff. They probably are expensive. <laughs> They're hardback. So, yeah. Um, I've had these two for a while. They, I've had them for a while. And I have done some pages in them. This one came out in 2019. And um, this one, this one came out in, and I, this is a signed copy. This one came out in 2017. I'll do a little, this one has more done in it than this one. So, um, but we'll work in, we might work in both. So we're going to color and paint. I have paints. I have watercolor markers. And you can use the, um, you can use uh, Crayola Super Tip Markers. You can, you know, you can, and I'll probably use pencils as well. We've had thunderstorms here all night long. Some, some uh, thunderstorms, and I just heard a big bang of thunder. But I checked, I checked the uh, radar. Let me, sh let's see what the radar. And it looks like the bulk of it's gone over us now, so we should be okay. But if I do disappear, the electricity goes out or something. Well, th then you'll know why. <clears throat> Let me go to the weather app. So, <clears throat> yeah, so there's uh, there's our area in Georgia. Well, let's see. Let me let me do a refresh. Hang on. <clears throat> so, uh, radar. So you can see it's kind of gone. Oh, this was the worst line of it right there. And it's already gone through. So <clears throat> I think we'll be okay. Hopefully we won't lose any electricity. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sue, Beth Schuler. Hi, Janet. And uh, <clears throat> you got storms there, Beth, in uh, North Carolina. Uh, let's see, Arlene, 
3G. Brenda, who else am I missing? I always, it seems like I always miss the mods. I'm, I, so most of the time I catch Jana, but I'll, so, and Tina, I catch Tina because she posts good morning to everybody. But then I'll miss Julie Topaz and I'll miss, um, I'll miss our Pacola, my sweet Snapdragon. Let's see. Uh, am I missing anybody else? Uh, I think uh, Annie Tanner. Good morning, Annie Tanner. I love my I love my bee things, my trims. I just I use them almost every day. I pull from those beads all the time. Those trims. Uh, Amor Fabrics. I just ordered something else from Selena. Amor Fabrics. Um. Oh, okay. Hello, daughter. I don't know her name, but hello, uh, Selena, daughter. Uh, Annie, my daughter Annie, uh, got me Etsy. Um, she got me Etsy uh, gift cards, e cards, whatever you call them. She got me some Etsy money. And uh, so, one of the things I ordered something from Selena, more fabrics. And I showed y'all, I showed y'all the other thing I ordered. <laughs> and Janet already wants to wear it, her Janet, my Janet doll. But let me show you what I ordered. Um, let me see here. Let me go over here. And the girl that um, the girl that I ordered from is in Poland, and I follow her on IG. So this is what I ordered from the girl in Poland. She hand makes these little um, little hoodies, and Janet already goes, "I want my doll to wear that." So Janet will probably get to wear the hoodies. <laughs> but I ordered that from a girl in Poland, and. Uh, um, Annie, like I said, my daughter, that's what she gave me for Christmas was Etsy money. And then I, I'll try to bring it up here for you guys, but this is my, <laughs> this is the blank slate, Marsh and, uh, Raul, anybody man card. <laughs> hi, hi, Tina. Thank you for posting the link. There's Selena. She has a best, I mean, just the most awesome Indian fabric from India ever. If y'all like sari silk, cantha quilts, rolls, uh, appliques from India, go to Selena. And she always has, well, not always, but sometimes she has deals if you follow her on her YouTube channel. And uh, then go purchase off Etsy. But anyway, all right, so I'll bring it up here to show you, but I don't know. It's kind of big. But this is my new room setting I just made. <laughs> this is a blank slate. All that's there is me and the cats. Me and the cats are all that's in the room right now. This is the this is the furniture Denise got me for Christmas, and I built this uh, three sided uh, room setting. Um, this is some Chinese wallpapers that I um, or gift wrap paper, I should say, gift wrap paper. So here I'm going to try to bring it up here. I don't know how well it's going to fit under the camera. Wait, let me back up the camera real quick. Let me back up the camera. As far as I can, okay. All right, so let me just try to bring it up here for you guys. So it's a three-sided room setting. So you can see, there's a, there it is right here. So yeah, so this is going to be my next Barbie photography session. So it's got a floor and two walls, and I want to put like Janet's lamp in the corner, pictures. So anyway, stay on the sofa, baby. Stay, stay on the chair. There you go. So anyway, that's my room setting, the current room setting that uh, <laughs> that I'm going to do. The white furniture is a staying waiting to happen. Arlene, Arlene. Well, only if the cats keep getting on. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie Bruce. <laughs> Let's see, Don. Who else? Raj. Oh my gosh, look here. Yeah, you got it. Look at my uh, Instagram, Selena. You'll see all my Barbie photography over there. But if y'all want some awesome, awesome fabrics, Amore Fabrics, right there. That's her YouTube channel, and then from there you can go to her uh, Etsy channel. And uh, <laughs> so I did just place another order. I mean, like I didn't really, I didn't have anything yellow. I wanted something yellow. I've got to have some yellow in that blue and white room. Won't that be awesome? In the blue and white room, have some yellow accents. Oh, 
Just saying. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use my Jane Davenport um, layer cake color wheels. And I'm going to, I've had these, like I said, I think what I say, 17 and 18 or 18 and 19, something like that. So I've had these for a couple of years. And uh, I know, right? Right, Annie? <laughs> and I have blue trims from Annie Tanner. Oh, my gosh. I'm just so excited about my Barbie photography. <laughs> uh, yeah, she does have yellow bracelet, bracelets on, uh, Rachel. And speaking of yellow, I got some more lemons. A little ASMR for Rachel. Okay. <laughs> I was out of lemons on Monday. I was drinking a Pepsi. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, so um, I think Tenderful Enchantments is the one I have the most colored in. So I'll do a little flip here of, of this one. They're both by Clara Markova. And um, so let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting dinged. Is that you, Tina? <clears throat> uh yeah yeah so let's see uh let's see 3g brands i'm so glad you got lemons i bought a bag on tuesday and thought of yeah lemon water is excellent for you vitamin c circulation yeah hi melody good to see you miss melody has given me so many color books over the years i don't know if she gave me one or two of these or not but uh, Miss Melody has given gifted me a lot of color books over the years. And uh, it's good to see you, Melody. I hope you're doing well. I, I see you every now and then at other people's coloring channels. But it's good, to, um, it's good to see you here. Let me turn the brightness up just a little there. There we go. Um, it's good to see you here. I'm glad you're here. Of course, she probably came because I have coloring in the, in the title. Because that's what Melody likes. She likes coloring and does coloring. So it's good to see you, Melody. Um, oh, thank you, Raj. And uh, thank you. Happy New Year to two. Under the weather will be lurking. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. And uh, so, yeah, I'll do a little flip through. And then I'll zoom in more when I start coloring. But this, just this way you can see. Let me check my, light, check my lighting situation. All right. Let's see. I got auto white balance. Which one looks better? This is the blue or yellow. Which lighting looks better for the coloring? Blue. Yellow. Monday I put it on yeah, on uh, blue. So I don't know if it looks better with blue. It's a little brighter on the blue. So I don't know. I'll leave it on blue for now. Because it does make the page look color corrected. It looks color correctly. Hi. Um, thanks, Tina. Tina's saying good morning. Did, did Pacola come in? Where's my little snapdragon? There she is. <laughs> Good to see you, Bacola. Thanks for being here. Um, let's see. Who else? All right. Everybody's saying blue. Okay. I like the blue, too. I like the blue, too. It's a little, it's, it's just, it's more color corrected. But yellow sometimes can be a little richer. But I, I do like the blue as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and flip. Um, these are some of the pages that I've done in this book. And uh, every page has a blank on the side. Well, some there's a couple of double page spreads. But most of them have a, a little place to write. You could write your own story. That's what I imagine this to be. If you wanted to do this, like um, write a story from this book, you could have this side to title it, write a story, or you could just journal in it and use the color book pages as, you know, your pages of color pages. Hi, Sue. Let's see who else. Barbara G. I said hi to Barbara. Um, so yeah, maybe I should zoom in. Let's go ahead and zoom in one and go ahead and um autofocus again. Let's see. There we go. Does that look good? Now now I have it too bright. Let me turn down the brightness just a little. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. What does that look okay, guys? Because I'm zoomed in. Okay. Hi, sister. Good morning. Good to see you. Uh, oh, thanks, Tina. You're so sweet. Hi, Angie. 
Um, so I'm going to flip through the book and you'll see some of the pages that I've done. She has lots of mushrooms and little mushroom spores floating around everywhere. And uh, so I, the books are like, I mean, they're like, they are fairy tale books. <clears throat> I brought out two of my Clara Markova. I think I have three, maybe four of Clara Markova's, but I've just pulled two today to color from. <clears throat> So see how they have like, just like a fairy tale. So I thought we would go ahead and use uh, the Jane Davenport color wheels in it and just see what happens. I've not used the color wheels in a color book. So that's why I thought we would go ahead and try it. And uh, plus I have water, uh, uh, water-based markers here too, which you can use the Crayola Super Tips and of course pencils. It's always mixed media. All right, so this is one of the last ones we did in this book. Of course, we didn't finish it. We did put the door on here. And uh, in the back of her book, she has places where you can cut out doors and windows and stuff. And, uh, and what you do is just cut a little slit and put a piece of tape so that the door opens. There's a few pages like that. Put it in caps if y'all are talking to me. The paper thick, it's probably uh, 65 weight, maybe. It's not 110, but it's not copy paper either. It's a good, it's a good paper. It's a good paper for color books, uh, ta Annie Tanner. So, uh, so I don't know if we'll finish this one, but I do use this is a black acrylic paint, and the and if you see how those white those white rays right there. Those are color pencil that have gone over black acrylic paint. If you have acrylic paint, pencil goes over it amazing. So, and, you know, if you're going to do, I, I don't know that I will do that, but if you want to do like a storybook, like complete through the whole book, you know, if you want to color all the mushrooms the same color. See, I did start doing that. Pink, green, and yellow mushrooms. So, you can see I've got all the mushrooms kind of the same color. <clears throat> I have not picked a page to do yet. Here's the here's the frog and the mermaid. And again, painted in the background and then penciled on top. Um, I do like these seahorses. <clears throat> there's this little little elf seahorse guy. Who's the author? Clara Markova. Clara Markova. 3G Brenda. So any of the pages would be fun to do. Of course, the more detailed pages I pick, the less chance we're going to finish. But, um, you know, I still will still test. We'll do some tests, see what we what works, what we like. Mm. So, is this one? This one has some stickles on it that you can see. I put glitter on this one. Then there's the bat and the pumpkins. Again, painted painted black background, and then I could add the shade or the glow with white pencil. I haven't finished all the little stars in the background. I put a little glow around these little glow worms. A little embroidery, sitting there embroidery. But aren't they so cute? Artist. And then this is the page that is made for you to cut out. I haven't cut this one. I'm not even sure where that one goes. It goes on a, a cuckoo clock somewhere. Um, I didn't really even look for it. But anyway, so we'll either color in that or fairy celebrations. I've only just started this one. 
So I've only done this and this, I think. And this is just some watercolor or some, um, I think, yeah, I think that's watercolor. And then we shade with pencil. So these haven't been shaded. They're just kind of based in. So I started doing those little pink flowers. And then again, if you want to do it consistently through the whole book, if you wanted to, you could just, and I think that's why I started it with this the last time we did this, is just start going through the whole book and find, of course, I wouldn't make y'all watch me do that, just paint pink flowers the whole book. But if, you know, if you're just doing this for yourself and you just, it's something you can do that you don't have to think. And I've done this on other color books before where you can take um, just one or two colors and just go through the whole book with your watercolor markers, like a Crayola super tip and go through and do all the pink and just go through the whole book and find all the little pink flowers that you'd want to look. There's more and just go through the whole book and find all the pink flowers and look, there's a whole bunch and just do all the pink flowers and just keep going. You don't have to think about anything. You can just sit there with one little pink marker and go through the whole book. It's very relaxing to do that. Hi, View. How you doing? <coughs> Let's finish one of those pretty pink pages. One of these two right here. Um, well, these have already started, so I really want to start a fresh page using the color wheels. So, uh, But I did want to show you all that you can take and go through and just find like all, like all the pink flowers or whatever color. Oh, a more fabric. Thank you, Selena. Thank you for some super sticker. Very, very, uh, very kind of you support the channel. Thank you. And I do support yours too, because I love your fabrics. And Selena does have a video. I guess it's still up. She has a video where she shows you in her, her works area. Um, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's a huge room. I think, it, I don't know if it's her garage, but it's a huge room and uh off of her house and uh she showed how she had big stacks i mean big bundles big bundles of fabric from india and it's really cool so if y'all like to find that video it's real fun to go look at her her workspace um oh thank you tina <laughs> And thank you, Selena. Selena just gave me some love. But she, yeah, um, uh, Tina's talking about thumbs up. So, yeah, give me some thumbs up. Uh, yeah, I do. I do support you because I love your fabrics. You have good quality stuff. So that's why I keep coming back. Uh, let's see. Did I say hi to Nettie? Oh, thanks, Cheryl. And hi. So I'm just going to flip this. I think that's all that I have colored in this one so far. So we might color in this one today. But again, you could go through and find all the pink flowers. You could do all the, all the you know, big, uh, big flowers, all the same color. Or in this case, like I was doing the mushrooms, all the yellow, pink, and green. You know, you could go through the whole thing and do uh, all the colors. So... See, there's more of those pink flowers. So, but uh, we can find something to do pink, uh, sister. I just want to start a fresh page and because this is not um, these paints. And I want to test out these paints. Um, there's a bunch of little mushrooms. And this is cute. I do like that page. I could paint the background. And if I do paint the background, though, I will do the background in acrylic. I do the backgrounds in acrylic because color pencils go over that well. I haven't tested pencils over these, but Jane always has multi, I'm sure, pencils. I, yeah, I think we did test last week or the week before <clears throat> that pencils went over her paints just fine. So, but when I paint a black background, I like it just flat black with the acrylic paint. So look, that's so cute. There's just so many cute pages, right? I have no idea which one I'm going to color yet or paint on. Look at the little bat hanging upside down there. Oh my gosh, so adorable. But it's just like a fairy tale. And again, you know, it would take you a long time to color the whole book. But if you finish the whole book, it would be an heirloom to one of your kids or grandkids. You know, definitely would be an heirloom. And especially if you wrote your own story. Or if you were with the kids and let you and the kids write the story. 
That would be awesome if the kids are old enough to help you write a story. And you could just do it on some, you know, notebook paper or something and, and uh, write it all out. And then once the story, once you got and just take, you know, washi tape a piece of paper here. And then once it's complete the whole book, then you could transfer all your writing neatly into the page. You know, in case you change your mind or adjusted the story. So. So, yeah, I just think that's so I love these books and we just don't get to all our books. We have so many books. Y'all seen how many books I have. <laughs> you saw me hide behind my color books. All right. Let's see. So and then again, this has um, this has a couple of cutouts as well. All right. So let's see what we want to do. I'm just going to kind of flip till something. I don't want to do a double page spread. Of course, we'll never get that done. I like her. And I could cut, paint the background. Like in this one, I painted the background of one of them blue. See, that's acrylic. That's a flat acrylic paint. Paint the background a blue or a, you could do a pink. You could do, you know, it's a fairy tale world. You can make your sky any color you want. But, uh, and then this one, I added water. There was no water dripping out of there. But, uh, but I really do think these books are really fun. And uh, fairy tales, right? Again, I got to finish that one. But I want to test, <clears throat> I want to test uh, the Jane Davenport paints on here. <laughs> Andy's already making up a story. I do like that one. I'm going to put my finger there. I like them all, you know. This one has the moon and the black cats and the little bat. I think I'm going to do something, though, with a light sky, like a pink or a blue sky or something. I like that. I like them all. Every time I flip to one, I go, oh, no, I want to do that one. No, I want to do that one. Little Red Riding Hood. Well, I don't know if it is, but she has like on a could be, you know. Um, let's see. The ballerinas. I think I'm going to go with her. I think we're going to go with her. Let me get a clip here somewhere. The camera's going to move. I took the clip off the camera thing there. <clears throat> All right. Let's just lightly there. All right. So I think we're going to do this. So if I do a background, and here's all my colors I want to start with. They're all my Jane Davenport. I did a swatch on Monday. I swatched in my 2022 journal. Now, I can't show them all to you because otherwise we can't zoom in. So let's just kind of put them around the edge. You can kind of see them. <laughs> otherwise, we won't. I mean, I might even have to zoom in some more. <clears throat> all right. So let's see the background. I'm liking this light teal color. I think we'll do that teal color on the background. So, and I did get fresh, clean water. Although Janet would say that they're stained in the bottom of the cup there. She'd be kind of, yeah, she'd be kind of. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see. I'll start with just, uh, I'll have to start with a small brush just to, you know, we'll, we'll start with a small brush. <clears throat> all right. So, and they just, they just, I mean, they activate immediately. So put it in caps. If y'all are talking to me, I'm just going to start painting. And uh, really, I should put a piece of uh, wax paper behind the edge. I'll just be careful along the edge because um, you don't want the paint to run under the other side. And if I'm not careful, that's what's going to happen. So <clears throat> let me just go ahead and go all the way around the edge real quick. There. Now I can clip that back. Did I get it? No. So, yeah. So, what's everybody else working on in the new year? I will look and, I, and I'm not oversaturating this, I'm keeping it um, not a lot of water. And that's one of the th reasons I like acrylic paint, because acrylic paint, you don't need any water at all. 
like you do with, you know, this watercolor. So the page may buckle a little. It doesn't bother me. But if you don't like your pages buckling at all, you know, but I found that when you, by the time you color the other side, it, you, things usually flatten out. But I'm not using a lot of water. Very, as little water as possible. Okay, so it doesn't, um, so it doesn't uh, soak through. Yeah, I know. I'm, I know I need my protective page for the other side. I really should. Let me just get a piece of wax paper. Hang on. Or, uh, well, here. I think I got a, I don't want to tip my water, but I think I have, a, yeah. Here we go. Just so I, I don't think it's going through. Yeah, see, it's not going through, but I don't want it to seep over the, seep over the edge. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, there you go. <laughs> Let's see, prayer pocket. What prayer pocket? What about a prayer pocket? Um, what about a prayer pocket, Cheryl? I missed what you. I uh, did you say? Oh no, I lost my brush. Oh, here it is. Uh, I missed what you said about a prayer pocket. All I see is prayer pocket. So what? What about it? What about a prayer pocket? I do make them. Are they more like, yes, they're more like gouache. Yes, they're very opaquely. I did a swatch of them on Monday. If you want to go back. Now, again, I want to be careful not to oversaturate. That's the thing about watercolors. You can't oversaturate them in a color book because they'll, they'll, they will bleed through if you oversaturate. Whereas acrylic paint, I've I don't think I've ever had acrylic paint soak through. Not even on um, not even on um, what do you call it? Um, like typing, I say typing paper, copy paper thin. It, acrylic paint just doesn't unless you over water it have too much put water in it. But if you just use it straight out of the jar, uh, acrylic paint won't even go through um, thin paper. <clears throat> I'm trying to put it in caps so I see it guys if y'all want me to see what uh, y'all talking to me okay so I'm just going to kind of go along this edge here and you can always use the tops here for like a little palette if you want to kind of you know keep the water to a minimum just pick up a little at a time. <clears throat> that looks funny on her face. Let me just go ahead and put a little bit in here. Are what are they? Beth, they're Jane Davenport's layer cakes, color wheels. These are the color wheels. She also sells the same. Uh, same paints in the um, in these kind where there's two two shades and I again I've got the I've got the um, caps on them where I've used the caps but look see it's got two colors in each one they look a hot mess because I use the lids I use the lids for the little palettes so um, but yeah there's two colors in these and she has like I don't know eight or nine of these kind of sets too. This is the only one I have, but I do have all, I did buy all the color wheels. There's nine color wheels <clears throat> and they do come from Australia. So you got to give it a couple weeks to it, but that's all it's been taking for uh, when I bought the inks and then I bought these color wheels. It's only been taking a couple weeks to get here from Australia. And Jane's real good about getting them out, getting an invoice out right out to you and everything. So I'm trying to keep less water. I don't want it to soak through. If it does, it does, you know, <laughs> but that's why I wanted to test. But I don't think it's soaking through. Let's look. Yeah, it's not going through. And now I can really I can move this because and it and this is uh this is the page where you'd write your story so I wouldn't even care if it went through but you might so 
<clears throat> I remember I asked about cars. I well, I well the whole time I've had an entire. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so funny. You're so funny, Tina. Tina asked me, what kind of cardstock do you use for collage? Well, I use 110 weight cardstock, no particular brand. But if you want it for stamping or other purposes, you know, I, I just like the 110 weight because I collage and I like a heavier paper. But if you're doing other kind of things like stamping, you're probably going to want a smooth one, make sure it's good for stamping. And I don't really stamp. I mean, I stamp, but not like, I don't make cards or anything. So I'm not sure what the best uh, card stock is for making cards. You'd have to ask a card maker or a stamper. So, and if you want something darker after you just make sure that the, if the first layer, just like watercolor, if the first layer isn't dark enough or flat enough for you, make sure it dries before you add the second coat. That way you're not going to oversaturate your paper. It's not the paint that's going through. It's the oversaturation with water that makes your paper soak it up. I love the hot to those, but um, I don't think, I don't even know if I have any Tim Holtz stencils to tell you the truth. I don't know if I have any Tim Hall stencils. Not that I don't like them. I just don't think I have any. I don't use a lot of stencils. I use stencils more just like for the backgrounds of my art journal pages and stuff like that. But so it, I'm going to take a minute here. It's going to take me a minute to do this background, but I, you know, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Let's see what Barbara says. Doing a scavenger hunt. Oh, good. Yeah, if y'all did missed it, Janet's doing a scavenger hunt, and if you participate and if you finish, uh, Janet will enter you in a drawing for a nice giveaway. So um, go to Janet Young's channel if you're interested in doing the scavenger hunt. You have three months to do it. And you can do it so many different ways. You can do it in a comp book or make your own book or however you want to do it. And then um, you could have multiple things on the same page. You know, if Janet has like children's book, postage stamp. Um, well, I don't can't think of right now what all her um, uh, things are for the scavenger hunt. But you can put multiple things on one page and it counts, you know. I might put some clouds in that too, some fluffy or some fluffy white clouds or something, just a little bit. And I am going a little faster than I normally would if I was sitting here by myself, but I try, I'm trying to get as much done as I can. But when you're coloring in these color books, make it relaxing, make it chill, take your time, enjoy the process. You know, you don't have to rush. You know, like I said, I do go a little faster when I'm streaming so I get as much done as possible. But you don't have to rush when you're coloring. You just enjoy it. And you can use, and I might do a test too on, an, uh, not a test because I know it works, uh, watercolor um, markers, like watercolor based, I mean, water-based markers, sorry. Water-based markers like Crayola Super Tips, or any of the, you know, there's like Arteza and different ones have brands of water, um, water-based markers. Those are good too. I can't find her paints. Can um, Beth, go to janedavenport.com. janedavenport.com. They're right there. Yeah. Well, not right there, but I mean, they're in her, they're in her website. They're called layer cakes. <clears throat> so that's what the if the mods put in a link they're just going to put in jane davenport.com because <laughs> that's the link uh and i don't know if these clara markova books are are still in print or still out there uh let's see Thank you, Pacola. Pacola's on it. Snapdragon. All right. So let's see.
and I like having the background done because then when I if I put any kind of glow or any kind of um, anything on the uh, around then the it, it'll be on top of the paint also like here for instance well you probably can't see all right so see how i did the background a little bit over the leaf right there well that won't matter when i paint the leaf then i'll cover that up whereas if you do the leaf first then you have to cover it up with the background it's just easier for it to me it's easier just to have the background done but i don't always do that but um, it seems to come out cleaner if I have the background done first. Oh, thank you, Pacola found the fairy celebrations on Etsy. I don't know how much they're running now. Maybe Pacola can tell me. I'm sure they're not cheap, and they do come from overseas. But this technique will work in a lot of books. I mean, it doesn't have to be this book. I just picked this book for today. So I'm just kind of getting all the background down here. Going pretty quick. Thanks, Janet. So what's everybody else working on in the new year or what's your new year? I don't want to say resolution because when I say resolutions or something like that it means like you got to change your life or something like that. And I think if you got changes to make, you just make, need to make them all year long <laughs> because you didn't wait till the new year to make changes that need to be made, you know, during in your life. Don't wait for a year. But uh, what kind of projects do you have planned for the year? What do you have any um, goals or projects that you want to do in 2023? I'd like to see that. Put it in caps so I see that you're talking to me. Tina says, as soon as the pre-order listing drops, I usually pre-order Clara Markova and Hannah Carlson. Yeah, I love both their books. And I like them because the images, even though they have small things in them, they're not so tiny that I have to get out a... Uh, fine liner to do the whole page you know not that there's anything wrong with those books but i just don't enjoy having to strain my eyes Thunder. i don't enjoy uh straining my eyes to uh to see a color book page <clears throat> all right let's get a little bit more paint here we're getting there. Most of this is not background, believe it or not. And I'll get some white pencil out and kind of do some clouds or something, see how it works over the... Okay, let's see. I think it's more things behind her. Let's go back up in here. So anybody saying what they're working on? I <laughs> uh, do not follow. Uh, hi, Annette. Shred. Afro Sensible says, says, shred old papers and statements. Well, I guess that's that's a goal. I don't know if it's an artistic one unless you're going to use those shredded papers in a, in a collage project. <laughs> you could do that, sister. <laughs> Shred them and glue them on something. Make a make one of those uh, boards. What are they? No, they don't call them mood boards. They change. They I just used to call them collage, you know, boards or whatever that I cut up. Now they have different another name. Becky was making one. She'd know what it was called. Um, not a mood board, but where they just make a board to use for cutting up and stuff. They just made a new name for it. So. <laughs> Uh, I did say what I was doing. Oh, I missed it, Tori. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. How far back was it? Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, no, that's Tina. Well, I don't see it, Tori. It must have been a while back. I don't see where you said what you're doing. Maybe you could say it again. I missed it. Uh, Masterboard. Masterboard. Thank you, Aunt Beck. 
Master board. Thanks, Arlene. Yeah. And, and you can just glue all kinds of things down on it and then cut it up. We used to make those for collage cards uh, or ATCs or art cards. And we just cover the whole board, then cut the whole sheet up into uh, art card size or ATC size. And then go from there and add details to the cards. But we didn't call them master boards back then. Oh, let's see. Erica, who else is coming in? And I will miss some comments. I mean, you know, I can't just sit here and read comments and stare at the chat. I do. That's why I ask that you put it in, in caps so it will draw my eye quicker. But I do still miss some. You know, I do go back at the end of the day and... Um, uh, scrub through the chat to see if I missed new people or missed any super chats or anything like that. Cause I don't like to miss, you know, especially new people coming in and stuff. Tori's doing your first journal one on colors and Janet scavenger hunt. Well, those are some good goals, especially for the first three months you'll work on Janet scavenger hunt. And, you know, you can do anything you want with it. You can add uh, you can add uh, more stuff. You can make your story. You can, there's no real rules to Janet Scavenger Hunt except just to, you know, collect everything. But how you collect it and in, in what kind of book or what kind of paper or how many things do you combine on a page, that's all up to you. But Janet has some good examples that she's done on her channel. So, and she's painted a lot of things. Like when she did game boards, she actually painted game boards, but you don't have to do that, you know? So you do, you do you, <laughs> you do what you like, cut out, draw, color, sketch, uh, whatever it is that you like to do. Let's see. Is that, okay, that's, yeah, that's my scar. Your favorite things. <clears throat> Raja, I am in feel deep wish on everyone. Oh, thank you, Raj. Raj, our little poet. Raj, our poet. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Let me get a sip of my uh, lemon water. All right. Okay, let's see. A little bit down in here and I do have my fan on it's hot here with the storm coming through I know it's going to get cold I think next week but um the thunderstorm we've had thunderstorms all night I think they're probably supposed to, and it's probably already gone through if I check the app again the bulk of it's probably gone through but uh yeah we had thunderstorms all night Tornado warnings, TV interrupting with the, ee, you know, that kind of thing. Weather Channel has issued a warning. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's another spot right in here. But that's why I said at the beginning of the show, I think it, most of it's gone through now. But if I had lost electricity, I'd want y'all to know well. Some uh, storms came through and we lost electricity. All right, let's see. Did I get everything? Probably. I can always go back if I miss something. I do want to get this little area up here just a little more solid. Let's see. And makes... Um, I, I resisted. I did resist turning on the AC. I did open the windows, Tina. Till the rain came. Yeah, hot and muggy in Florida. Yeah, Leona. It's going to be 60s here in the Arctic, Michigan tomorrow. Hi, Posh. How you doing? How you doing? Any uh, any news on the next time Keisha's going to have a, have one of her? Is it this? Is she going to have one this weekend? See, I'm being, I, I am getting over the edge there. 
have to be careful. I kind of want to get these edges just a little better, but okay. <clears throat> so let's do maybe some of this little grass down here. And Janet, you'll be happy to know, Janet, look, I'm cleaning out the little palette. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I kind of like these kind of combo. Maybe I'll just stick with these combo. All right, let's see. Let's do, uh, well, then let's just use, no, I really like this light green grass. No, I like this light green grass. I like this lime green. I'm going to use this lime green. I'm going to go, I'm going to use some of the lime green on uh, some of the greenery. I like this lime green. <clears throat> You don't know yet? Okay. All right. So, I'm, again, let me just lift this up and put my hand under here so it doesn't run under. But I was just in the mood to use these, uh, my paints. I don't want to not, I don't want to buy them and not use them. And I want to do some more calligraphy and, um, what do you call it, uh, illuminated letters with my Jane um, glitter inks. That's why I got those mainly is for calligraphy or well, illuminated letters. I really shouldn't be bringing the water over my page cause it can drip, but I'm keeping these. I wouldn't normally have these on the page either by myself. I'd have them over here, but I want y'all be able to see something. <clears throat> all right i like this bright green and i'll do the leaves a darker little color but i might do i might do those little pink flowers everywhere there's not a whole bunch of them but those little pink flowers for um, sister who wanted me to do the, the flower page. All right, so let's see. There's that. Now let's go over to, I think I'm going to use this pink right here. No, yeah, I think I'll use this pink on the complexion. I'm not going to clean this yet because I'm probably going to use it again. All right, so I'm going to use this pink. For the little flowers. Didi, what did Hubster get you for Christmas? It's still, it's coming from Italy. It hasn't got here yet. It's it's hit the it's hit the US and was in customs. <laughs> so I haven't got it yet. <laughs> okay, so let's just do these little and then I'll go back and shade. I'll I'll put shading with pencil. That's how I usually do my color book pages. I shade with pencil. I'm just going to put pink on all these little flowers. And you can add stickles and glitter. This, this paper is pretty, you know, it, it does hold up to some stickles. But the thing is, if you use, you know, stickles glitter, the stickle glitter jar bottles, then, you know, you need to set it aside and let it dry. The other thing about using it is if you put it on too thick, then if you want to do the back page, you're going to have a bump. So if you use any kind of stickles, glitter, keep it as thin as you can so that it's not a bumpy page and a book. You know, you don't want a bumpy page in your, in your color book. Well, maybe you don't care. I usually don't care either, but. Uh, <laughs> Shelly, I'll let y'all know as soon as I find out I can get it myself. But yeah, I do like hearing what y'all are working on. And, you know, things that people like. I, I like to kind of, you know, do stuff like, you know, like if I get a lot of people going, oh, I like your collage and I'll do more collage because I like all of it. So it's not like I don't care. You know, I'll do I like doing it all. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty awesome, dude. All right. He has a best sense of humor, too. He has a very dry, dry wit. All right. Let's see. Um, 
All right, sister, I'm looking for any more little flowers. Maybe I'll get back over that page. We'll see. Um, I just want to really test out these paints. Oh, there's a right there. See right there? All right, let me just get a little. There's a little spot right here where I missed in blue. Somebody probably noticed that was yelling at me. You missed a spot. Y'all are usually good at seeing, you know, where I've missed things. Let's see. How, how did the nose... <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> oh, here's another bit of blue. He is so funny. He, uh, when Annie was here, this was some years ago. I mean, like, I think she was still in nursing school. And she was visiting. And he said, Annie, would you go to the store for me? I need you to pick me up something. She goes, sure, Dad. What do you want? He goes, well, let's see. Could you get me some Beano, some Pepto-Bismol? And he named off like five or six stomach things. She goes, Dad, I'm not going to go get you all that stuff. <laughs> and I felt like saying, um, do you remember when y'all were teenagers and your dad would go to the commissary and pick up feminine project pro projects feminine products for you guys <laughs> i'm tending to dig out my barbies and their dream house oh you should you should and and uh well i won't pull the whole barbie um thing out here but i do have a picture i'll show you this uh, this is my new um this is the new uh uh room and it's a blank slate right now there's nothing really in it but this is the room i just finished making a three-sided room with uh, the chinese wall um uh wrapping paper it's like in a book of of well i'll show you it's one of these uh, it's these kind of books these kind of books here that have the wallpaper in them and um, they're put out by Pepin. There's a Japanese, a Chinese. There's all different ones. And uh, they're, they're wrapping paper. So they fold out really big. They fold out big enough to make, uh, to do wall, like wallpaper. So um, that's what those are. Three different ones of those on foam core board. And I just wrapped them like you would a present, taped them on the back. And then just tape, tape, uh, put them together, three sides, you know, the floor and two sides, and they're open on the other sides. And uh, so this is my, uh, this is my, uh, I sent this to Annie and Denise. They loved it. So there she is. This is the Dee Dee Barbie. <laughs> There's one of my cats. There's the other one over there. And this is the furniture that Denise got me for Christmas. And uh, so there's my blank slate for the next scene. And I'm going to put yellow in it. It's going to have yellow accents. Yellow accents. I'm tempted to do, okay, let's see. You should, and, and Anne makes it. Are you on Instagram? <laughs> I know. I know, Tina. Um, pair of books are available on Omar. This is here in Canada. Okay. Well, um, and if you um, do get out your Barbie stuff and if you are on Instagram, follow uh, Barbie, uh, hashtag Barbie doll photography. And you'll, there's a whole bunch of Barbie, um, Barbie uh, sites. I follow, I don't know, 20 or 20 of them on Instagram. And there's just so much inspiration on uh, Instagram for Barbie, Barbie photography. So, yeah, I just have fun with it because it, it makes me happy to make little scene. And it makes me happy to make a scene. <laughs> All right, let's see. Did I miss any more of those little flowers? All right, now let's go back to some of the lime green and do a few of the leaves. Let's see. Which ones do I want? Do I want these? Big, I think I want these big ones to be lined. And again, this is just the base coat. Then what I do is I shade with pencil. We go in and shade with pencil and, and or highlight. Yes, that's awesome. You, there's a lot of, there's a big Barbie doll photography community on IG.
and I'll probably stop halfway or something and do some of the shading because otherwise you'll just see me doing just, you know, just basing, just basing all this and uh, not doing any shading. When I do shading, I'll zoom in and stuff. All right, so let's see. Do I want those leaves? That, I think I do want these leaves that lime color as well. And there's these little, little, they look like the little uh, dandelion puff balls throughout here. Those will be good to put maybe some, uh, like the little glow around them to make them stand out. <clears throat> Definitely a pro. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just, I, there's, you, you think that I do good Barbie scenes, you don't know till you go on there and look on, go look on IG under Barbie photography, I should show y'all a couple, Marsh, I'm gonna put out a man card for it for you, <laughs> let me go, uh, let me go over here, let's see, um, let me go to Barbie doll photography. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And I don't care what anybody says about AI art. There's some amazing AI art too. Okay, um, let me, let's me let stick with Barbie doll photography. Okay, let's see. Hashtag. Barbie doll photography there it is all right let's see let me, let me just find all a couple come on load up the ig um to the paint background and yes i mean there's just some crazy good scenes all right here we go look look at this one dolly's diner shop look at that <laughs> A little miniature food. <laughs> um, let's see. Here's these two girls that have been out shopping. <laughs> They're at the park. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing. You really have to go to Barbie doll photography to see. Let's see what else here. I'm trying to find some more little scenes. Here's one here. I mean, there's hundreds. There's just hundreds of them. This one has a fireman holding a little baby. Look at the room. <laughs> but what I really like to do with mine, and I'll use Sista's as an example, because that's, I think, the, the latest one where I've had words. But this is one of my, this is one of mine. And uh, I made this one to be sister, sister doll. And uh, she's out on a date and they're taking a Christmas stroll. And uh, ever feel like you're being watched? See how he's leaning in and she's leaning in like he's whispering in her ear. But I love doing the speech bubbles. And then they both slick their heads, sling their heads around and look behind them. <laughs> And there's all the all the nut nutcrackers looking at them. I love doing the the word bubbles. That to me is the funnest thing. But then here's one of my this is one of my Christmas ones. My baker. This was my baker uh, girl with the cart. And then I did um, here's I made this one to be Aunt Beck. Aunt Beck. I even I even painted the hair white. The doll hair, I painted, cut her hair short and painted it white. So there's Aunt Beck, and you can see 
she has a bunch of cats. I think she has three cats. And uh, so, and at her sewing machine there. Go over to Instagram if you want to see it better. And then, oops, hang on. Let's go back up here. And there's a close-up of the room. So, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Selena. Have a good day. Thank you for the super chat. And y'all go, go over to Selena and buy some awesome fabrics from India. And follow her uh, YouTube channel because she has good uh, good deals all the time on her YouTube channel. Oh, where'd she go? Let's see if I can find her real quick. Where she said bye. I missed where she said bye. But it's Amore, Amore Fabrics. And her name is Selena. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see what I missed while I was browsing through. Uh, baby, I know, right, Janet? <laughs> there she is. So there's uh, a more fabric, Selena, and uh, follow her YouTube channel and her Etsy shop, and she has awesome fabrics, guys. Let's see. Hi, Judy. Good to see you. Anybody else I miss coming in? Uh, I love the speech. That's my, my favorite thing to do. I love doing the speech bubbles and making them talk, you know. <laughs> uh, but I'm just having fun with it. It's just something fun, and I like to make people smile. Okay, so let's see. What else? Do I have some more little... I want these grass to be darker there. So I'm just kind of going... Oh, let's see. There's a couple more leaves here. Uh, maybe on these little berries, I'll do those little. Mm, just kind of make your way around. I think this moss needs to be this green. She has moss on. She's using a, looks like a mushroom cap for a hat. Has moss on it there. Okay, I can always pull them back out again if I need to. All right, let's go ahead and let's do her, let's do her face. Let's do her a medium brown. Let's see, let's do her a medium brown. And again, we'll shade and, and do all that with, uh, uh, what do you call it, a uh, pen, uh, pencil. So we'll highlight and shade. So we'll make her... Um, let me make her a medium color brown. I like doing all different nationalities in my girls, in my dolls, in my in my coloring. Her coloring is an inclusive. Because everybody's going to color their own colors. And she'll have socks on, so I won't do her legs. Okay, so there's a start for that. D, I have a great, great nephew, Ellis, today. He says, aw, thank you, Ellis. Thank you. Thank you for liking my picture. Your Aunt Judy needs to get out... Uh, some coloring for you unless she already has all right let's see all right now the did i the color no i didn't do any certain color on the mushrooms in this one that was in this one and i did a flip through of this one a little while ago where these are the colors i'm kind of doing all the mushrooms throughout the book that pink and green and yellow but i haven't done any mushrooms in this book so we can make it any color we want all right let's see um I'm not sure that if this is supposed to be some kind of a looks almost like a squash. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be, like a potato, a squash. Well, it has a thing on there. What do y'all think that is? What kind of a tuber is that? 
Uh, do y'all think that that's a, a squash or a, you know, because it has this little viney thing on it that she's using for a handle. So I'm not sure what that could be. All right, let's see. What do I want to do next? Probably the mushrooms so I can get them all consistent. A cornucopia. Okay, yeah, a cornucopia. All right, let's see. What do I want to do next? I think I'll do the mushrooms. Maybe we'll do the mushrooms a purple. Do I want purple and blue? Let's see. Let's do some purple. Let's go back to this one here. And I think I'll do all the mushrooms. Let's do them this kind of um, raspberry color. Let's do them that raspberry color. Oh, no, but no, baby. All right, if you stay over there, you can stay over there. You can come up here. Go stay on that side of me. Otherwise, I'll have to put you off the table. I know you love my love my markers. Stay out of the beads. Stay out of the beads and stay off that stay off the wet paint. Here, let me move this book so you can sit there. There you go. Oh, and today is Wednesday. We're going to do a giveaway. We're going to give away um, these uh, half comp books, and I'm going to I am going to do a. a international one so i'm gonna do one inter uh oh i just wrap my paint across there oh there it is um I, I felt my brush hit something so we're gonna give uh we're gonna give these away today so i'm gonna do one us one international i'll suck up the postage it's okay <laughs> i know i usually let her lay up here as long as she stays out of pan pastels keeps her tail out of wet paint See, her tail's right there. And uh, doesn't eat the beads. Those are the things. And they stay on that side because they'll walk on my key, uh, keyboard or unplug me over here. Hi, Jane. Kathy C. Anybody else coming in? So, yeah, we're going to do a giveaway. Um, I announced that one on Monday. I put the little sticker on there to remind myself. So I'm going to do a little bit here and then we'll we'll stop. I want to get her maybe do her dress so it's something big enough to see when I shade it. Okay, so there's a little mushroom inside of that bottle. I don't know if we put a mushroom in a bottle. No telling what that kind of concoction would make. Um, oh, and then her hat here. <clears throat> I started growing all my own herbs and I filled like 25, 22, I don't know, between 20 and 25 little jars. Denise bought me the jars um, last spring and um, I filled all my, all my little jars with my own hand or homegrown herbs. And the only thing that I really ran out of is rosemary. We went through a lot of rosemary because Denise makes some awesome rosemary uh, potatoes. And uh, so we did go through a lot of the rosemary. Oh, is, uh, I'm not sure if that, I think it's a, just a pillow back there. Okay, so I think she's going to have, looks like she's wearing some kind of a robe here. That's going to have some probably some kind of fur around her. But let's see, let's put a little, let's put a pink stripe on there kind of ties in with her hat and maybe her stockings will be pink it's kind of a raspberry color let's see anybody else I miss coming in I said just how do you Shelly hi CNP um I think so, Posh. I don't, yes, I did, but I didn't, I don't think I used any, any of it. But I think I, I, I've, I grew everything that I possibly could, like 22 different kinds. Did I use them all? No. Oh, I know what, the inside of the sleeves, like the inside of the robe can be that color. 
And the same thing for the little stockings. And maybe part of her wings. I'm just going to kind of tie everything together for her. Some of her little butterfly wings. Again, you know, when you're doing this yourself, take your time and enjoy painting it. Or if you like using color pencils, just, you know, take your time color penciling. Just make sure you always have a sharp pencil. That makes a difference. Okay. Dee, the little fairy reminds me of a story I read in elementary school. Pippi Long. Yeah, I remember Pippi Long stockings. All right, let's see. Let's get, um, um, is there any kind of a gray? Yes, there is a gray. So I'm going to do this little mouse. Let's do this little mouse. We'll put in have some pink ears. And again, this is just the base coat. We're going to go in and shade. Hope y'all can see. I'm not. I just not that zoomed in until I start shading, because the clarity is better when I'm not so zoomed in. <clears throat> Happy take off your hands and discuss tint bottle. Oh, you mean tarragon? Oh, yeah, I don't know about shipping that stuff in the mail, Poshy. <laughs> I don't know about shipping herbs in the mail. You know what I mean? Oh, no, is tarragon that expensive? Really? All right, let's see. I think I'll do her little shoes gray. I like to kind of carry the colors around. It makes the page cohesive. All right, then... Um, Let's do some pink little ears. Light pink little ears. All right, let's see. Janet. I'm not sure I'll use any more gray, but if I do, I'll pull it back out. All right, let's see. Let's I need some darker. Let's see, here's some olive green. Let's use some of this olive green or some of these larger grass down here at the bottom. I'm still interested and maybe I missed where y'all said what all your plans are for project, art projects, craft projects. Knitting, crocheting, sewing. What are your projects for the new year? <clears throat> I'm joking, heavens, we both. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. All right, let's just do all these little. And if y'all really want to see some amazing coloring, not that I don't think mine is, but um, Cat and Paste on Instagram 
does some awesome, awesome coloring. There's others too. I try to shout y'all out as I, as I show your pages, but Cat Pace does so many. She's really prolific in her coloring. All right, so there's those. Oh, I missed that little green. Let's see. There's the lime green. Here, let's go back over here. Missed a leaf right here. Well, I'm probably missing some around different spots. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to do a pink bow. Let's get this raspberry color here. Let's do this bow. Then these berries here, I want to do a purple. There's another leaf there I missed. But it goes pretty fast when you paint like this and then you just go in and shade, you know. Just don't oversaturate. It's the water that goes through the paper. Let's see, Tina, I'm still making wood slice ornaments. I got, did you post them anywhere, Tina? I don't think I remember seeing you post them. You show, I think you showed me the, or, the, the wood slices, but have you shown any? that you made posh upcoming projects roxy stitchery embroidery and garden path janet scavenger hunt with journal uh, what did shaz say did i miss shaz and hi shaz if i missed you i, I don't see where she posted what she's doing Hmm. Let's see. Hi, Juanita. She spins knitting, crocheting, and spinning. She spins Juanita. I call her Little Foot. She's my little foot. She actually spins her yarn from like actually. She. I'm surprised she doesn't go shore shorn the sheep herself. But she actually uses fresh wool and spins her own yarn. I don't know how much of that she still does herself, but she has done it. Let's see. Who else am I missing? Make sure y'all put it in caps because otherwise I don't think you're talking to me. Bible Base 365 Say Project. That's an awesome goal, Arlene. Eight days, she said. I have to gather the wood slice ornaments and take a picture. Yes, take pictures. It doesn't count if there's no pictures. <laughs> uh, to say sheep. I, oh, my gosh. You really have done alpaca and sheep shearing. Does not surprise me, Juanita. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's. Where am I here? Let's go back to some of this pink. Get a little more water. Let's do a few more things in pink. i got to do those a little bit of that lime green in there. What else do I want in pink? Kind of carry it around. i got the little tiny pink flowers, but that's a different color pink. Let's do this pillow. There's this pillow here that's in the cornucopia. Protecting all the bottles from breakage. Let's do that. That's a different pillow behind there. Oh, here it is right in there. So if it's tiny. So thanks everybody for being here. We have a hundred and twenty something. Hubster goes, how many did you have today? I stopped and I go, I, I don't know. I forget to look sometimes. Hubster goes, why well, look? It was so-and-so. I said, okay. Thanks everybody for being here. Okay, so let's move that together. I'm trying to keep the lids together with them, you know. Oh, let's go back to that lime green because I do have a little, little leaf right in there. And that little stem. And let's do this little stem. Some of this you could really just do with pencil, but I'm trying to do as much as I can with the color of the paint. All right, let's see. All right, so now I think I need some, like, um, kind of a golden color. Not gold, but 
like not orange but kind of a golden color like maybe the cornucopia here let's just go ahead and do that i should put it on here though then maybe the wheel in a brown time so about a little after 10 we'll do the giveaway for the comp books and these are awesome for doing little collage projects or even a even a scavenger hunt you could do your scavenger hunt in one of these the suggestion do the little stripe pillow pink and lime green stripes this right here I think that's the inside of the cornucopia. But we could do it pink and green. Want to do it pink and green, Rachel? It could be another pillow. It's hard. To, you can, and you know, you just don't know. It can be whatever you want it to be, really. Okay. All right, now I have to decide on her dress. I really want his little ears a little pinker. Let's go ahead and do a little darker pink there. Okay. All right. Um, do I want that feather to be gray like the mouse? Oh, wait, there's part of her hat up there. This is part of her hat and the feathers in her hat. So that's got to be the color of the mushrooms too. There we go. And the inside could be, let's go ahead and do the inside of the mushrooms, this kind of golden color. We'll do her hair dark. All right, and dark brown wheels. Let's see, I got a dark brown right here. Hi, Kathleen. Anybody else can hi, Devin. All right, let's see. Do and those tassels? No, not yet. Let's just let's go ahead and do these wheels. There's the back one and behind. And that's kind of a metal that would that would probably be gray. Let's do the inside here, this color. We'll do them brown and gray. Very chill today. Draw the thunderstorms all night long. <laughs> I mean, like all night. Started like at six o'clock last night. Okay, we do the gray. And you probably really should let the draw the color you're doing next to it dry, so they don't run together. I did get all the Christmas put away. Well, Hubster and I did. We had taken down all the decorations before the weekend, and then, oh, then yesterday we took down the, we took down the three trees in the in the bay window. But we left it up a couple extra days because we it, it faced the street, and it just looked good from the street. So, but we got all that down last night during the storm. There was a thunderstorm going on. We took down the trees. Let's see. Now let's go back to this brown here. And uh, let's do the little rope belt. And I think there's another. He's got one too. A little rope belt. And he's got a little sack there. Let's lighten up that brown. and Do that little bag around his waist. 
Oh, let's see. Not many Christmas trees are still alive. Well, yeah, we had a fake one. We had three fake ones this year. We got them at Hobby Lobby on clearance. We always have for the last 20, I don't know, two years, we had real trees, but our Christmas tree farm closed. So rather than go trying to hunt one up this year, we just went. I got a one big one and two small ones for the window. And uh, so that's what we had this year. We had fake trees this year. First time in forever. Okay, let's see. This little, oh, no, that's part of her hat there. That's with her little, uh, what do you call it? Oh, is that the, no, that's not the pink. Is that the pink I was using? No, the raspberry. I need this raspberry color. For the tip of her hat right here. Holding that little lantern. Okay, let's do our hair. Let's water that down just a little. But we put we put our Christmas up early. Like this year, it was like before Thanksgiving, because I wanted it all up. Since we didn't go to the tree farm, usually if you go to the tree farm. The tree farm doesn't open till the day after Thanksgiving, but since we didn't have the tree farm, um, I went ahead and put the Christmas up on Thanksgiving so that when everybody was here for Thanksgiving, the trees were up. Because I do a lot of wreaths and garlands and quite a bit of decorating, so it takes a while. So I just went ahead and got it all done before Thanksgiving this year, but normally it's like the day after Thanksgiving. Hi, Penny. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Anybody else I missed? All right, let's just get some of this brown. Any place else I want brown, and then we will um, we'll do the giveaway. So if y'all want a mini comp book, I'm going to give one in U.S. and one in, um, what do you call it, uh, international. I want his little tail to stand out a little more there. Of course, again, I could do some of this in pencil. I'm just having fun with the paints. You can layer up the paint. It's just you got to let the layers dry. Otherwise, you're wetting your paper too much. You don't want your paper oversaturated. I can't say that enough. If your water goes through your paper, don't email me, people. Don't email me. <laughs> I'm Melinda. All right, let's see. Um, I need some more of the lime green. A little bit of that for these stems. Missed a couple of the stems. Just kind of looking around here. I wanted that kind of goldy color on the underside of the mushrooms. Oh, there's another piece of rope right there, or whatever, twine. So let's do that too. Okay, the brown. Not sure the feather if I want to do the feather green and I think I want do I want that little guy to have the pink matching pink that she has and him All right, let's see what everybody's saying. Everybody I miss. Hi, painty girl, Lori. All right, let's see. Is that enough for right now to start doing a little bit of pencil shading? I think so. Oh, well, let's do her dress. And I'm not sure the feather either. 
Do you want the feather to be gray? I think so. Where's my gray? Here. Is that the right one? I've already started using. Not that it matters because I'm gonna. They're all the lids are the same. And I'll clean the lids out before I'm when I'm done because otherwise Janet will be calling me on the phone. Now I can shade this one too. And I do want to test to see if my watercolor markers will go over this paint. I haven't tested that. All right, let's see. Maybe I'll do a couple of these bottles, real light, light gray, just the, you know, the stoppers. And then I can put some white highlights on them so they're like clear not the not the contents in it we won't go down there that way we can put different colors of potions in there mm -hmm. okay I will ask you to send them to me. <laughs> All right, what color dress? What do y'all think of her dress? Maybe these wings need to be, the, the wings need to be a little, the gray color on the edges. Oh, and I got to do that little bit there, yellow, or that orangey yellow, ochre color. What do y'all think? What color dress? And then we'll do some shading. Okay, here's some of that yellow right here. I think I'll do these little tassels on this pillow, that yellow color. Dark green? Oh, dark, really? Dark green? Lime green? Like the color of the leaves? Oh, well, if I do, I could do lime green and shade with dark green. I'm trying to keep it like all a consistent color or anything. I don't want to just like throw in another totally random <laughs> color. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. It's your page, right? But I'm thinking, I think I'll do it the lime green just so I can shade with dark green. I'll shade with dark green on her dress. And it's really kind of a, it's kind of, it looks like a terry cloth robe, <laughs> actually. And then it's got kind of fuzzy, little, the little fuzzy balls and the fuzzy collar. But if I do it lime green, then I can shade with the dark green. Oops, I got a little bit of brown there. Thank you, Melinda Lewis. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for the super super chat. I appreciate that. So thanks for supporting. And if you're new and I've not sent you any happy mail before, email me your address. Let me put it in here. Email me your address. I don't remember if I've sent you happy mail. I don't re recognize your name. But if you'll send me your um, address, I'll send you some happy mail if I've not ever sent you any. <clears throat> Let me know. Just mess or uh, email me. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And then we'll do the giveaway, and then all this will be nice and dry for us to do some pencil shading. And maybe, some, like I said, I want to kind of play with some uh, the uh, either the Crayola Super Tips or some uh, water um, soluble markers on top. 
and some of the maybe some of the little bottles oh i gotta do those little bit i gotta do the berries i have to do the uh, raspberries we're gonna do those a purple color okay there's the dress based in thank you so much melinda need a put in winter need a magnification putting on makeup is an adventure you don't put on makeup and you need magnification is that what you're saying <laughs> uh, okay let's see oh this is kind of a little tag there let's go ahead and do that tag this kind of a brownish color too where's my brown let's do this little that little tag there there's a little tag right there the leather tag or whatever okay so maybe uh maybe a couple of these little houses up in here we could, they can be a tan color just get those based in and then um the raspberries let's do those this purple i don't know why i keep switching lids here because they're all going to clean out and they're all exactly the same so it doesn't matter which one goes on which okay so let's put a little bit of purple and then we'll shade with pencil maybe we'll bring some of that purple into like this little candy over here little bug right there that might be a different color maybe this little well it's too close to the pink i think it looks too much like the pink maybe this jar right here has purple something in it all right i think that's a start we still have lots of little tiny things but Alrighty. I have new vision. I can't. You don't close it. Um, I'm not sure. Do you get some new glasses or something, Jane? Maybe. Maybe that's what she means. She got some new glasses. Okay. Let's see. All right. So let's let's see how the lighting looks. Does it look okay. It's a little got a little dark. For some reason, maybe the light changed outside. <laughs> That's too light. It's flashed out. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in anyway when we start shading. Okay, I do have on purple bracelets today. It's almost getting close to February, so that's my birth, uh, my birth month, and so amethyst is my color. These are the bracelets that. Um, Denise's friend Julie made me these purple, these two. All right, so let's see. Um, let's go ahead and do the giveaway. So let's kind of just move this over here for a minute. So this is how it works. Don't anybody put any numbers in yet. So what we're gonna do is when I we're gonna let's do let's just do one at a time. We're gonna do international and then US. So they're separate. We're going to do two giveaways. Okay. So we'll do international. And then we'll do U.S. So we're going to do two separate ones. It's just easier that way. Okay. All right. So what's going to happen is you're going to, when I type in go, wait till I type in go, international only, you're going to put in a number between 1 and 100, one number only. Don't change your numbers, move them around and all that because I'm on StreamYard and when you remove something, I don't see it go away. So I'll still see it. So don't change your numbers around and all that. So that's just my rule. I know other people do different ways. That's fine. We all have our way of doing things. Okay. So let me get over to random.org. Okay, wait till I type in go. And we're going to have our little random generator here that has between 1 and 100. All right, when I type in go, put in a number international only first. And then we'll do a separate drawing for USA only first. Okay, one number only. 
Uh, and also don't play for anybody else. And the reason I don't let y'all play for somebody else is because and I have to go find that person's address. If I don't have their address, you put in somebody's name and I don't know who they are. I don't have their name. I don't have their address. Then I have to go hunt them up. So don't put in, don't play for anybody else. Okay. Um, it's, it gets too confusing. I sent out, I send out a lot of happy mail and I have to have some kind of system where it's easy on me, <laughs> you know? So one number only, wait till I type in go. Um <clears throat> All right, there we go. International only between one and 100. And then we'll do a separate drawing for USA. That way each, you know, that it just gives it more fair for both, you know, groups. So we get, get everybody in. And if I miss saying hi to you, hi, Joy, Honey Badger, anybody else I've missed saying hi to, thanks for coming in. Um... And anybody I've missed, I didn't mean to miss saying hi to you. I do go back and scrub through the chat. And if you're new and you have content on your channel, I'll more than likely follow you. As long as it's, you know, something creative, photography, crafting, art, you know, something like that. And you have, and you do have content on your channel, then I'll, I'll follow you. So... Uh, and Joe, I did get your address. I, I think it's Joe L that sent me your address. Yeah, I got your address and email, Joe. All right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Don't dilly dally doddle or lollygag. One. Okay. <laughs> Let my stop go in there. Come on, go in. I'm I'm buffering there. Go in. I hit stop. It's spinning. Okay, hang on, guys. Are y'all? Am I still here? It's saying I have. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Ready? Fifty. First person closest to 50 without going over. 50. Okay. So let's see who that could be. I'm scrolling back. Let's see. We have a 37. We have 56. We have 44. Looks like Joe L. Am I right? She had 44. Is it Joe L? 44. I think it's Joe L. Okay, Joe L. 44. I was going to send you some happy mail for being a new person. Now you get this. So new person Joe L. You won the uh, you won the um, half comp book. Yeah. Okay. So Joe L. That will go out to you. And you don't have to send me your address because you just sent it to me yesterday. <laughs> Joe L. Was new and I said, "Well, send me your address and I'll send you some happy mail." And uh, so now she won the comp book. All right, so we're going to play again. This time it's USA only. Wait till I type in go. I love it when new people win. I do. I love it when new people win. Okay, so this is USA only. Wait till I type in go. First person closest without going over. There you go. And then we'll we'll draw a new random.org number. Then we'll zoom in a little and color some detail on this for a little bit. And uh, uh, Aunt Beck comes on at 12 today. I don't know who else streams today is Wednesday. I'm not sure who else streams today, but Aunt Beck comes on at 12. Um, I'm not sure what she's going to do. I just happened to see lurking at Mary's that she was coming on today. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. All right, everybody get your numbers in. I'm going to count down. Don't dilly dally lollygag doddle. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two. Make it quick. Sarah got just got in there. Anybody else? Quickly. Last call for a number. One. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I put in go. <laughs> I need to put in stop. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. Okay. So it's stop. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Hi, CB. CB, did you get in a number? <laughs> I didn't say you just come in. Do you want to put in a number, CB? I'll give you a quick chance. Anybody else? CB, you want to put in a number for the comp book? Or you may already have a bunch of comp books. You may not want one, but uh, I'll give you a last call. Anybody else? Last call. <laughs> CB, you want to put in a number? Pa what did Posh put in? I didn't even see what Posh put in. Did she go outside of a hundred? Uh, hun the number of one hundred? I didn't see what she put in. If you went over a hundred, Posh put in another number. <laughs> Quickly! Quickly! Y'all, you last, you lollygaggers, CB, no, she said no, I didn't, well then put one in CB right now, and Posh, if you went over 100, put yours in, it's 1 to 100, I should have wrote that down here, anybody, last call, I don't know, she's, I guess Posh and CB are not going to put in a number, no, no, five, four, three, Posh put in a number, CB, two, I'm going to put in another stop, one, okay, there we go, we're going to stop, okay, so here we go, we're going to pull a new number for USA, 98. 98. First person closest to 98. Okay, CB might have said something. I didn't see what she said. First person closest to 98. <clears throat> Let me scroll back. Everybody can scroll back. Refresh your chat. Make sure you're on live chat. Okay, let's see. 98. I see an 80 from Beth. I see 85 from Tina. It looks like it's Tina O with 85. Tina O has 85. So Tina O, send me your address. And uh, you won. You had 85. Here's my email. So congratulations, Tina O. Email me your address. I'm going to the post office tomorrow, so don't lollygag, do, don't doddle, dilly dally, doddle, or lollygag. <laughs> Send me your address to the email, and uh, and I will. Uh, I'm going to the post office tomorrow. Okay, and congratulations, Joe L. All right, you're welcome. You're welcome, Prashi. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take a quick break. And then I'll come back and we'll do a little shading. We'll throw a little shade. I'll zoom in. I'll get some pencils. Okay, well, real quick, let me get a let me get a baby wipe here. To make Janet happy. Before I move on to pencils. Before I move on to pencils, I'm going to clean these lids out and put them back on the <laughs> put them back on. Let's do that real quick. I'm going to take a quick break and then we will do some color pencil shading. Okay. One more. There we go. Alrighty. And I'm going to go dump out this water just in case a cat gets any ideas. All right, I'll be right back.
Okay. But I tell last time I left Malibu in here uh, with my lemon water and the straw. And I and I went, I, it wasn't during a stream. I was just had some lemon water and I was working on something. And uh, I ran to the bathroom and I came out of the bathroom. My lemon water was not knocked over, but she had pulled the straw out of my cup and it was sitting in front of the bathroom door. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hit this with my heat gun just to make sure it's, everything is nice and dry. Oh, it's not plugged in. Hang on. It's dry, but just making sure. Okay, so let's see what we want to do. Do I want to, let's move these off of here. Because if there's anything little tiny that I want to paint in, I'll just do it with markers. So let's move my iPad, put these over here out of my way so we have room. So we have room for pencils and um, so we have room for some pencils. And I got, I just pulled these water-based markers out. You can use super tips, Crayola marker super tips, water-based. Don't use uh, alcohol markers in your color book. It'll go right through. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and zoom in one more. And let's turn down the brightness a little. Let's see, how do I, do I want to, still too bright. Let's turn it down a little more. That looks pretty good. How does that look? Now I can turn it on the li blue, yellow light. Let's see, now we have it on blue now. There's yellow, which looks better. No, blue definitely look better. Okay, let's go back. All right, so there we go. All right, so I'm going to clip this down just so it's... I still have another... I thought I had another clip right here. I used it for my light, I think. It's going to bug me because I'm going to catch my wrist on it coming up and down here. So let me get a paper clip or something. Um, I have some paper clips right over here somewhere. Here's one. Okay. So I'm going to get a paper clip. And just clip, there we go. Just to hold the corners from uh, me catching them on, on my sleeve. Um, yes. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's start with our dress. And I'm going to get um, the lime green and olive green and one darker green. Let's see. Okay, we'll go with these three. Let me get my little sharpener bowl here. With some different sharpeners. I'm not picky on my sharpeners. Metal ones are, are better, but I have plastic ones. I'll use whatever. It's handy. Ooh, that's nice and sharp. Look at that. <laughs> oh, okay, let me move my brushes. Dee Dee, did you know Prismacolor Violet and Lilac have been discontinued? I did see that, Cat and Paste. So should we hoard those? <laughs> I tell you, I've got a lot of sets of Prismacolor, so I should hoard my violet. What are they going to replace? Well, you got to have a dark purple and a light purple. What are they going to replace that with? Or do they? Let me see. I'm going to need a black and a white. Let me sharpen my white here. <laughs> I did see that, though. All right. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to take my dark green. Am I, let me, should I zoom in a little bit more? Let's see. Maybe one more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. But now let me refocus. Let's autofocus again. How's that? Does that look pretty good? I'm looking at here and here. This is a lot flashed out, a lot more flashed out. So I need to turn the brightness down, maybe the color intensity up. That's probably good. Now, it looks like I have a nice tan, but uh, that doesn't matter. This looks correct. 
Apparently problems getting minerals. Ah, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and just start. Can y'all see this okay? I'll hold my pencil back kind of far so my hand's not in the way. And I'm just going to start doing a little bit of shading on her. I'll start with her dress. And again, if y'all have not seen Cat and Paste's uh, IG, she doesn't, we, I don't know why she doesn't stream. She needs to. But uh, her coloring, oh, Tina messaged me something. Is it important, Tina? What is it? What is it, Tina? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the other Tina. Okay, it's her address. Sorry, Tina. It's the other Tina. <laughs> The Tina O messaged me uh, her address. I will see what is it, Tina? Our Tina the mod. Okay, I got your address, Tina O. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see now. Let's go to um, Instagram, and we're gonna go to Cat and Paste. And I'll show you a couple of her pages. This is her newest one here, her Happy New Year. So if y'all don't follow Cat Pace, there it is right there. I call her CNP. Her name's Christine, but I call her CNP. You're well, see, Jane missed it earlier. Jane sent a super chat. Oh, okay. Is it already? Let me scroll back as far as I can. Jane, thank you so much. Did you do that while I went run to the restroom? <laughs> I don't know when you did it. Let's see. Let me see where Jane sent me a super chat. I'm scrolling back, scrolling, scrolling. There's Melinda. I see Melinda's at 10, 10. Did I miss, is it before that? Was it before 10, 10? I'm looking, I'm scrolling back, scrolling. There she is, Jane. Thank you, Jane. I did miss it. Thank you for calling my attention to, to it. Thank you, Jane, for this, <laughs> for this coffee for you. Thank you, Jane. I appreciate that. And yes, I did miss it. So thank you. I don't like to miss the super chats and thanking people. And if y'all have not seen, Jane also has a uh, uh, art and jewelry um, channel. So go follow Jane Litterick. Thank you, Jane. And thank you. Who was the one that called it out for me? Pacola, Tina, Pacola, someone. Whoever called it out. Yeah, Pacola did. Thank you, Pacola. Oh, well, it already went away again. It changes so fast. I mean, I click on one, it's already into a different. Thank you, Pacola. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Okay, so it is, sister. It is. Um, oh, <laughs> there we go. So here is, let me, let me brighten up. My phone is on low light. There we go. So there is, um, there's Cat and Paste, one of her coloring. But I'm just going to kind of scroll here. But y'all go, go check her, check her out. Peruse the awesomeness that Cat and Paste colors. Oh, let me stop on that one. Look at that one. Partridge in a pear tree. She did a bunch of Christmas things. There's a Christmas cat. Look at the lighting that she does right there, guys. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So y'all go follow cat and pace underscore. Just stunning work. Stunning work. All right. So I'm going to go here and do some dark color shading on the dress. So has anybody else got some uh, a color book um, IG that you want to all share? I know Tina does. I don't know if Tina's done anything since the last time I showed. Have you done anything else, Tina? Tina Maud. Tina O, what do you do, Tina O? I don't know if that I've seen your. Do I? Do you have an IG, Tina O? <clears throat> I'm 
looking. I'm looking, Kathleen. I love what she does with the light. I know, right, Kathleen? Since we're doing color books today, I'll shout out color book people. I'll shout out color book peeps. I'm uh, looking, I'm looking. No Instagram, just started YouTube videos. Okay, well, I'll make sure and go fi uh, find you on YouTube then, Tina O. And y'all go check out Tina O as well. I love shouting out the new newbies. Newbies here, and if you're newbie to YouTube. Okay, there's a little bit of shadow there. So you can see how it just it starts to come together. It just takes a little takes a little time to build it up and I like high contrast in my coloring so I do uh, I do a lot of uh, real dark darks and light lights I'll, I'll use a uh, Posca paint pens for highlights working on Kirby Roseanne's which one which one Joelle and Joelle do you have a do you have an IG do you have an Instagram or a YouTube channel, Joelle? Anybody else that's colored recently want me to shout out your channel? <clears throat> Put it in caps, guys, if you're talking to me, though, so I see it. Because I, otherwise I just sit there and stare at chat and try to figure out if you're talking to me. If you put it in caps, I can see it real Fragile world and yes on IG. Okay, Joelle, what's your name on Instagram? I'll go look you up. What's your name on Instagram, Joe? I'm gonna go search you out, and I'm sure it's not just Joelle. I'm gonna put in Joelle, but I'm sure that's not it. Oh, it is Joe Leg. Is that it's Joe Leg? Is that right? Let me make sure. Yeah, this is this you, Joelle? Bayer Artists and Fine Arts, is that you? I'm pretty sure you, there's coloring in there, so I'm, I'm going to follow you back. I think that's you. It looks like you got a, a different stages of coloring here. I'm not sure what, what, what you're coloring there, but uh, page is that you yes okay so there's joe joe leg 66 oh there's a kirby that's a kirby right panda or did you draw that one it just looks like a kirby panda you got some cute stuff and a cute puppy and she crocheted this so she does crochet you probably do know aunt beck Joelle, do you know Aunt Beck Creations? She was here earlier. She may not be now, but if you if Aunt Beck's here, I'll click on her name. She does crochet, sewing, and so does Mary. Well, Mary doesn't hasn't done a lot of crocheting lately, but Aunt Beck and Janet Nash. There's all right. So there's Aunt Beck. So you need to follow Aunt Beck and Janet Nash. Follow those two if you like sewing and crocheting as well as coloring and other things. You drew the panda? Good job, Joe. Good job. Janet Nash and Aunt Beck are my go-to sewing, crocheting people. There's tons more, but they're just the ones. They're the ones that I follow because I don't do a lot. You know, I don't do a lot of crocheting, and I really just kind of just started sewing because of Barbie, um, Barbie clothes. So I don't do a lot myself. So that's why I always point y'all to people that do, do a lot of the stuff, right? So. And Bet, Aunt, uh, Aunt Bet comes on at 12 today. Again, I, if she wants to say what she's going to do today. Um, so I'm just going to work on this dress here for a few minutes. I just want y'all kind of see the difference after you've, uh, but you can see how the pencils go over this uh, Jane's paint just fine. I do need to test uh, the water-based markers too. 
So we'll see about that. All right, so now I just kind of got some of the the dark green on there, but I got to blend it and add some medium green. Just kind of got to build it up. Build it up. Mm. Got color rich wild for Chris. Oh, Painty Girl. I I love those. Do you have a few works in progress? You haven't posted Painty Girl? Painty Girl Lori? Let me go look. And I always call her Painty Girl, but it's Paint Girly. I always want to call her Painty Girl. Okay, let's look. Um, and Paint Girly is the one that hosted uh, the uh, streamathon over the weekend. Well, here's one of uh, this one is a. Um, what do you call it? Uh, who is this one? Uh, uh, one of the the uh, Camilla Del Reco, the creatures. I mean, the creep, cool and cre creepy. <laughs> Isn't that that book? I'm looking. Color, but she was coloring with Devin Rex. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's uh, Camilla Del Reco's page, isn't it? Cute and creepy book. Because I've colored that, that's why I know. Here's one. Here's one. This is a Grazia Salvo. That's paint girly. See that there? Paint girly. That's a, a Grazia Salvo. So she has quite a bit on her channel. So go over there and look. Paint girly. L-E-E. -E. Cute and creepy. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let's keep working. I'm just going to. But when you have the base with paint, then you can, uh, you know, just spend the rest of your time just shading. Rather than coloring this whole thing with a color pencil and then not having the other color pencils go over it, color pencils go over paints. And then you have a base already there. Where if I color this whole thing in lime green and then try to go over it and hard press, you know, it's just, it's more, it's harder. Whereas if you base coat with a paint, whether it's watercolor, acrylic paints, you know, you've got a base to build on top of it. To me, it's just a lot easier to color. All right, so now I'm going to get the medium green and then I'm going to just kind of go over the dark green and into... The light green. So that blends it out. And gives it another layer of dimension. I hope y'all can see that. And you can either go back in there with some darker green, or sometimes I'll use black, and then go over it with a medium color. Just keep building it up. And hello, anybody else? How is this feeling? Oh, it feels just like going over acrylic paint or watercolor. It doesn't feel any different, Devin. This feels like going over like watered down acrylic paint. Now I do want to see if like water-based markers, like let's see, um, let's, and I should get a little test sheet, test, here we go, to test the color because I'm not sure what color I'm going to use. And you can use, um, this is just a water-based, these are Moigion, Moigion, you know, just the inexpensive, like kind of like Arteza type. Um, I don't want the fine liner. I want the brush. So let's just see. Yes, yeah, so it goes right over the paint. It goes right over the paint. So you can shade. Let's see, let me. I hate to zoom in too much because it's going to be get not as clear. But mm, let me refocus, especially with that white paper there. So you can see how it just goes goes right over. 
Now let's make sure that this is not going, well, let me check here. Yeah, it's not going through. It's a water base, but I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going through. And it's not. So you could do some of your shading with uh, the, the uh, water base marker. That This could be a uh, super tip, Crayola super tip. You can do little dots with the marker, like on these little, on the little uh, mushrooms and stuff. So you can get little details, little mushroom, you know, the details. I don't know if that's showing up. I'm not, if I get any more zoomed in, you, you won't, it'll be pixelated. So, but you can do details with, you know, a marker. And then you can go back and blend with your pencil. Whoops. <laughs> and I want to do test my white pencil on the on the Jane paints too. Because um, that's one of the nice things about acrylic paint is the white will go right over it. I'm not done with her dress. I just stopped for a minute to do this. Okay, maybe a little bit on this from here. So just use whatever works as long. Just make sure it's not going through. You can't use alcohol markers on these books. All right, so let's get a white pencil and let's see here. Yeah, see it goes over. Whoops, don't push too hard and snap your little tip off there. Go along our hat here. And then, so you can see how the highlights are coming off on the with the white pencil. <clears throat> And let's go let's go up here I haven't done any pencil up here I really should do a little more pencil but I just want to kind of show you let's do a little bit of highlights on these mushrooms just so you can see how it's working on top of it I need to zoom out one it's getting it's not clear it's not very clear it wants to pixelate is your marker picking up any? Um, if it is, I can't tell. I can't see it on there. <laughs> I can't see it on there if it is, Devin. <laughs> it's not, I mean, I'm not rubbing it in, so I don't know. If it is, it's not showing up. All right, so let's see. Maybe a little bit of highlight on this bow over here. I do need a pink or a, let's see. This is hen. I don't know what hen I want. Here we go. I want uh, uh, process red, which is like a purple. Let me sharpen. Only dark markers. Only dark markers? Hmm. Any marker will go over, I'm sure. I'm going to get back down on her dress here in a second. I'm just playing with different things. Pencil and water markers. Water-based markers, I should say. They're not watercolor markers. They're just water-based markers. <clears throat> let's go ahead and do some of that down here a little extra maybe a little bit of shadow under her dress there on the stockings and then Blend it in. 
And if you're not sure what's going to happen with your paper, your pa colors, then, you know, go back to a back page where they have test sheets. You know, go back in the back and test to make sure things aren't bleeding through, that they're working together, you know, and all that. All right, let's see. Maybe let's go with, uh, and I do have a test sheet of paper just to see if I want the, like the color. Like, let's see. Let's try a white one. Let's see what this green does. Yeah, I like that green. Let's see if it's dark enough. No, it's not really dark enough. I need a darker green. Let's try this olive green. That might be too dark. Let's see if I can get something in between. That one's better. Just want a little bit more detail. And again, you can do this with pencil. I just want to play with some different things. A little shadow under the... I'm going to, I am now under an extreme storm. Yeah, we had a, that's what we had. I think it's heading your way, Aunt Beck. You want me to look it up on the, well, you've probably already looked it up on the weather app. Yeah, that's when I came on this morning. I said, if I lost power, because when I came on, the storm was, the storm warning was still on here. So Aunt Beck plans on streaming at 12, but if she doesn't, then that's probably why. Let me get my weather app here. I'll refresh it. Choose water-soluble markers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I, you know, I hadn't tried that yet. I was hoping it would work. You know, water-soluble markers. Now, you never want to use, you never want to use your Copics, your alcohol markers, your Copics, with any kind of acrylic paints. Because your Copics, that ruins the tips of your Copics. Acrylic paint. It, you can do it for a while. <laughs> it's kind of like a Sharpie pen. You can do uh, Sharpies and Copics over acrylic paints. Now, this is not acrylic, but it can still kind of the same thing. It's going to pick up, you know, fi not fibers, but, you know some of the paint and it's that's not good you don't want to especially your expensive copics you know these you know they're water-based if they quit working after a while which they they never seem to like my super crayola super tip markers they never seem to quit working no matter what i do to them super tip crayola super tip markers you can get like a hundred colors for like 10 bucks now these are this is not what these are but i'm just saying you can use super tips um, let me f refresh my weather app here. I'm in the same time zone. Yes. Yeah, I'm in Georgia and Aunt Bex in North Carolina. I'm going to look at the radar. Let's see. Going to look. Yeah, see, it's heading that away. See, now I'm. it's kind of away from my Atlanta area, heading over this way. So Aunt Beck may or may not be streaming. And Aunt Beck may or may not be streaming. I don't know what's heading her way. So yeah, y'all watch out. Y'all will wait and see if she comes on or not. Uh yeah. Well, we were to Aunt Beck, but I, as far as I know, I think there might have been a tornado in uh uh Alabama overnight, but I don't think we had any here in that storm. So yeah. Right by North, by Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, you're are you in South Carolina? For some reason, I thought you were in North Carolina, Aunt Beck. I mean, I have your address, but I just didn't know where it was. Okay, so let's see. Okay, well, yeah, it's about. I think it's a. You now let me let me refresh. You know what? Once I shut down um, the weather app, it like it won't refresh unless I refresh the app because the radar is live. You know. 
Okay, so let's look over here. Let's fall, let's let's check on Aunt Beck here. All right, she says she's in right by Columbia. Okay, well, it looks like it's getting ready to go. It's it looks like you're gonna be like it should be going over you soon, Beck. See there, oh, there we go. So it looks like the worst of it's about to go over you. You should be okay in about ten minutes. <laughs> you should be okay in about ten minutes, Beck. This is just rain here. So maybe by noon, Aunt Beck will be ready to stream <laughs> as long as she's got electricity. You just never know about the electricity. That's the thing. So we'll see if Aunt Beck <laughs> streams at noon. Yeah. So y'all just, uh, yeah, stay safe, Aunt Beck. Always pray for those diminishing storms, you know. Okay, so let's see. What? Uh, let's go with the light. So then now I can go in here and just kind of, you know, shade, bl uh, say, uh, blend. Now I can just kind of blend with my light green. And I'm taking my time here, guys, on the, on the shading and blending, you know. And I'm just testing out, you know, the mar watercolor markers versus the, you know, the, the sh pencil shading over the top of Jane Davenport paints. I like to use it all if I can because it's just whatever works, you know. <clears throat> and then if I want even more um, depth, I can get in here with black just in real tight, little bit, not too much. And Well, I can go over the black with the green, but if you want some nice hard contrast, just get in some of those little corners and just a little here and there, a little bit of the shadows with some either dark, dark green. Well, in this case, it could be, would be dark, dark green or black, you know, just make some real nice contrasty uh, contrast, some contrasty contrast, you know, contrasty contrast. <laughs> And so while y'all are watching the channel, you know, take down uh, names, <laughs> take down names of people that you might want to go follow. If they're talking about something, sewing, coloring, Devin does jelly plating. If those things interest you, then go follow them later. You know, I mean, they can't put links in unless they're a mod. And a lot of times the mods are real good about putting in links. So if there's somebody you want to know their link, but usually it's just the name of the person you see here. You know, whatever their name is on the in the channel, that's usually the name on their on their YouTube channel too. So everybody's easy to find, even if you can't do the click to the channel anymore, which I love that feature, but they took it away from us. Like we were bad children. <laughs> it took took away the um, took away the links to other channels. But uh so I'm just putting a little tiny bit of black. Then I can go back over that with some of the green to kind of like knock back the black and make it uh, like turn it more of a dark, dark green. But I'm just kind of putting some shadows in here. Like under the flower here, there might be a little bit more shadow under these little fuzzball things. And I'll show you how to do some with the white Posca here in a minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of this. A little bit under this flower, which I haven't shaded or done anything else to those. But I hope y'all get inspired here. That's my goal. My goal is to have you be inspired to try something. Everybody's creative with something. You just got to find that something. <laughs> you know, you got to find that something. I'm putting all my sewing machine. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. You have all those fancy sewing machines, Aunt Beck. Yeah, hopefully the storm will pass by noon and you can come on, Aunt Beck. But if you don't, we get it. We get it.
All right, so just add a little bit of extra dark. And then now if I don't want it quite so black, I can take my dark green and kind of just go over the black and kind of feather it out so it's not so like a black line. You know, it's more feathered out. And that'll give you a nice uh, deep contrast still. And if you want extra highlights, I'm going to show you how to do that with a Posca. I'm just going to kind of go over some of this black. I'm not looking at Chad. I'm trying to get this kind of done here. Okay, now I want to show y'all what you can do if you really want some nice bright highlights. Get you a white Posca. 20, 23, I want to color my drawings better with shading and not the second and not the 2D color more. Yeah, it does take some practice, but there's plenty of us colorists out there, Raul. Plenty of and you know, I'm showing you tips right now. So here's another good tip. White Posca. If you want some real high contrast. Now, some places you're going to want white. Like, let's say this fur here. I'm going to go right over the edges. Let's make sure this one's working. <laughs> I might have picked up one that's not working. I'm going to go kind of over the edge so that it looks kind of fuzzy. This one may not be working. Let's, I got This one's kind of big, but I can, I'll be careful. But I know this one's working. So I'll just put some white dots to make the the fur on these here let me see if I can hold it up so you can see so I'll just kind of go like this like over the black line into the skin I haven't shaded I haven't uh, shaded the skin or nothing yet you see how then that it looks like you have like a little bit of that fuzz is going over the edge like that see And you could go back in there with a blue-gray or something. Same thing for her cuffs. Let's do the cuffs. But I want to show you something else you can do when you want to highlight something. This Right now, I'm just kind of making fur. But, you know, okay. See how that kind of... Let's do this cuff here. I'm holding it up in the air. Okay. And then around her little socks or the tops of the shoes, maybe they're uh, some kind of uh, Ugg, elf Ugg boots. <laughs> All right, but I want to show you something on the dress now. Now, not everything is going to, like, this may be a, a fuzzier and it's not going to have a lot of highlights to it, right? But I'm going to go ahead and highlight it so I can show you what you can do. So you can take your white... Okay, and then just kind of rub it out and kind of make it softer. Now what I'm going to do, it's not going to stay white. But what I want to show you that you can do with uh, Posca is after this dries, you go over it with a pencil. Whatever color you want, like the lime green. And it will still retain that brightness. Now go in the direction of your, of your fabric here. So it looks like it's, you know, folded that the right way. And it looks real bright and stark right now, but hang on. And normally I probably wouldn't put this much highlights on it, but I want to show y'all um, what you can do with the Posca. That's why I'm kind of overdoing it. And same thing for these little white little fuzzball things here. Let's go ahead and... Maybe on her belt she has... That rope. Okay, so now you just have to make sure this is dry. Because if you try to go in here now with a pencil on top of wet Posca, you're just going to wipe off the Posca. <laughs> I know, I get the teacher voice when I explain things.
So now, because this is dry, I can take my pencil, my lime green, and I'm, let me hold it up. I'm going to go over the white, Posca. But you'll see the, how it still retains the vibrancy of the white. See how you still see the white underneath? But now you have a brighter, you have a brighter um, lime green on top. See how that works? See? Every place that the white is, and you go over it with your color, it's going to maintain a, a brightness to it. But it's not going to be a stark white that you may not want. You know, sometimes you do want white starkness. But most of the time, you just want that underlying highlight. And that's one way to get it. See? And we could try another. Let me see. What was another green? Let's see what color this green was. Mm, I think I like this one better. And then, you know, you can go in there with another little bit more shading. With your uh, water base markers. And just, you know, play with. And the more times you do these techniques, the, you know, better you get at them, too. So there we go. Okay, let's see. Let's move on. Thank you, Annette. But you can see how you start off with this. It's all flat. It looks very, you know, it looks very flat. And you just play and build up your layers. Build up and play. Let's get some, maybe a gray marker for the shoes. Do a little bit in marker, a little bit in pencil. And that's too green. Let's get this bleach. So, anybody have any questions or anything else on? what we did today and hopefully y'all can try some different things try watercolor base water down acrylic paint but remember if you water down your acrylic paint and especially in any large area do do don't put a lot of water you gotta you, it's the water that goes through the paper not the uh, paint it's when you get too much water let's back out so you can kind of see a little bit so you can see how vibrant it looks when you work on it see the difference let's see Ooh, stephanie who else am i missing anybody else coming in so if y'all have any questions or anything before we go i'm about you know i'm not gonna finish this today i mean on stream i would probably work on it off and on today during the rain but i wanted to show y'all the techniques and trying out jane's paints on it but again, you can use any watercolor or any, and when I say watered down acrylic paints, I just use deco art or any craft paint and just water it down, water it down in a little dish or something like I was doing, you know, and use, just use as little water as possible. Okay, how's the weather back? You going to make it? Well, I know you're going to make it, but I mean, are you going to make it to stream? <laughs> Thanks, Devin thanks and oh the other thing i was going to show is maybe a little bit of clouds like you can do some you know uh wispy kind of clouds and if it's not bright enough with pencil this is kind of nice because it's real light you know and you just got a little bit of wispy cloud but if you want brighter clouds you could put down some posca and kind of just roll your finger into some circles you know 
and just get a little bit of a cloud thing going on see just tap on it or kind of swirl it around poscas are a, a white a white posca if you have a white posca you have a lot in your tool arsenal <laughs> this baby does a lot of things <clears throat> So you're welcome, Jane. Thank you for the super chat again. We're under 20. I'll watch until 2 p.m. You're going to try? Yeah, when I looked at the weather app um, back, it looked like you're going to have a lot of rain behind there, but it looked like the bulk of the red. Let's, wait, let's check on Let's check on I'm back again before we go. Hang on. Let me refresh it. We're going to check on Aunt back again. I love my weather app on my, um, the weather app on my phone is not as good as the weather app on the iPad. So, uh, especially for the radar. So we're going to go to the radar. Let's go over here where Aunt Beck is and check. Okay, so here we go. Columbus. There's Columbus. It's the red's already gone through Columbus. That doesn't mean there's nothing else coming, but, you know, and I think... This looks like it's moving this way rather than up, Beck. But so, where'd she go? There it is. But the reds moved past you, so hopefully you're you're safe. You know, you're just in the green. You're in you're in the rain, but it doesn't look like you're in the tornado. <laughs> so okay. All right. Well, we hope you can stream, but if not, we understand. So, all right, guys, I'm going to head out. It looks like we got, uh, it's light outside. It's not, uh, it's not sunny, but <laughs> you're welcome, Raj. It's coming along. And when I do finish a piece, I do post it on Instagram. I don't know that I'll finish this today. We'll see what else I have to do. And this is a lot of work. That's a lot of tiny stuff to do. Let me real quick just to show y'all uh, a couple of the pages that I have finished in this book, just so you can kind of see real quick um, some of the other, how they look when they're finished. So this is acrylic painted background, just so you can see. Let's that's a little dark. Let's kind of brighten it up just a tad. There we go. That's a little better. <clears throat> Thanks, Dot, and happy birthday again. Our Dot, Dorothy Gibbs, Dr. Dot, just turned 90 last week, or this week, last week or this week, just turned 90. So let me go to a few pages here. Let me just flip this way. So you can see a few of the pages. This is also a Clara Markova book. So they're both um, by the same artist, just a different fairy tale great show oh thank you darn good to see you by the way thanks for popping in tracy anybody else i missed did i say hi to you pam shelly i said hi to shelly earlier so these are some of the pages that i've done in this book this one's still working on this one has one of the doors <clears throat> I have some more Clara Markova books with more done in them, but I just pulled these two for today. So, yeah, this one has some stickles glitter on it. There you go, you can see. So, all right, guys, I'm going to head out. I hope you all have a great day. We'll try to, you know, try to hope Aunt Beck can <laughs> stream at noon. And uh, follow each other, support each other, especially 2023. Let's make it a good, supportive, helpful, you know, for each other new year. Okay. Thanks, Raul. All right. Thank you, Pacola, Tina, Julie Topaz, and Janet, and Rachel. She's probably not here now. No, hardly no ice in there, Rachel. <laughs> mm. So y'all have a good rest of your week and we'll see you at other streamers or back here on Monday. All right, guys. Bye.